Rutledge Dexter Satellite Systems! The moment we get into production, Hugh, the consortium is dead. Oh, you're going to give them four weeks from Monday to live, then? Yes. <sighs> they won't give up without a fight, you know, Bill. I'm going to catch Chance in hell, and they know it. I've got the edge on them, thanks to you. Well, they are still claiming I'm under contract to the consortium, according to US law. got back to you, have they? No, no. They ain't come back to you anyway at all. You come to me, right? Don't worry. Of course I will. I'm not worried. The press are on the phone for you, Mr. Rutledge. Well, I'm through, Debbie. With you in a sec, Bill. Right. Any calls? Yeah, not so far, Mr. Dexter. Good. That's how I like it, Alice. Do not disturb. Think tank, holy of holies, the incubator. That mean anything to you? No, not a thing. It's all I produce. Ideas. A two a penny, Alice. Except for the odd one, worth a billion. If you want action, get yourself assigned to Bill Routley. to the St. Luke's Charity Rag Week Appeal Fund. If, and only if, the target figure of £15,000 is reached, can she be free? Now, at 6.15, live on TV tonight, you can phone in with your donations. The number to ring is 23758. All in a good cause. The number, once again, is 23758. Don't forget, unless the target figure is reached, the beautiful, lovely Celia may never be seen again. The most Come on, phone in. Phone in and secure the release of our beautiful hostage. We want her back. We want her to make a personal appearance on this very balcony. How's about that, folks? How long have we got, Jackie? Only three minutes to go, Jerry. Only three minutes to go. So this is your last chance. What's the current total? So, you got my message. Of course. They said at your office you could be anywhere. I was on a tour of inspection with you. Tell her, my name is Rutledge. I'd like to make a donation. I thought you'd pay up. Oh, why not? Good cause. She's a good kid. Even if she won't forgive me. Or you. Yes, I'd like to donate £3,000. Jerry, I've got to interrupt. We've just been offered £3,000. <laughs> That's fantastic! Three grand! We've reached the target figure! And now, here she is, the girl you've all been waiting for, the Rag Queen herself, 
Cecilia! Any moment now, Cecilia. Come on, girl, let's have you. Cecilia! I'm sorry about this, folks. Since time has run out, so I'm afraid. That's, uh, that's, uh, back to the, um, studio. That's... Well, I'm sorry about that, but, uh... Where the bloody hell is she? Celia! Celia! Wait, cold with a little rain spreading from the west. Temperatures around 52 degrees Fahrenheit, 11 degrees Celsius. So, the album will commence the video setting. As for tomorrow morning, cold with a Gone? She can't have. Well, it's unlike Celia. To miss her big moment. Oh, it's a joke, you know, what kids are like. Yes, Jack. Sorry to trouble you. I had a curious message. Stop production or your daughter dies. Give me a printout. Stop production or your daughter dies. What was that message in, uh, in Spanish or English? English, with a Hong Kong takeaway accent. Oh, why you? Why you in Madrid? How should I know? They added... Pass it on. So I have, Bill. Does it make any sense to you back home? Well, it might. Excuse me, Mrs. Rockley. There are two gentlemen here. Please. Good. Can I help you? Mrs. Rockley? Yes. We're police officers. We'd like to speak to Mr. Rockley. It's about his daughter. Contact Zelda in Los Angeles. Tell her to suss out any rumors. Then get her to call me. The police, Bill. It's about Celia. Mr. Rutledge? Yes, of course. Was she all right? She didn't come out on that balcony. Uh, that's right, sir. Well, is she ill? Have been an accident? What? No, sir. We're treating it as an abduction or kidnap. Well, what's your evidence for that? Have you received any communication, sir, regarding your daughter? Phone, telex? No. And have you contacted her mother in Harrogate? She's heard nothing. You haven't told me why you're treating this as an abduction. She appears to have been taken from her bed sit by force, sir. As a fire escape gives access. And you're well known, sir. Wealthy man. Routledge Dexter has received a lot of publicity lately in the national press. With the new factory opening shortly. Yes, yes, of course. So, you reckon it's for a ransom? It could be. And if it is, you'll be the first to know. They're bound to contact you. Excuse me. Hello. It's Dorothy. Oh, hello. You've heard, I suppose, from the police. Yes, well, they're, they're here now. Um, hang on a minute, will you? It's Celia's mother. John, I wonder if you could take the gentleman to the drawing room. I'll join you in a minute. Sure. This way. Sorry about that. Have you heard anything yet? No, nothing. Oh, Bill, what's happened to her? It must be for a ransom, mustn't it? I mean, with you being so successful. Like the local benefactor, really. I'm so worried. Yes, well, of course you are. Are we? We are, too. Joan, too. Yes, Dorothy, Joan, too. 
Apart from anything else, it's her final year. I mean, if she's to qualify... Yes. Yes, I, I am aware of that. Well, look, you will let me know if they... Yes, I'll let you know. Of course I will. Well, the police might tell you things that they won't tell me. No, Dorothy, they've only just got here. Well, as soon as I know anything, I'll, I'll call you. So you're not going to tell me? What? Why you lied to the police. You're guessing, Joe. Well, I'm guessing right, aren't I? That call from Madrid you took in your office? Business call. I don't believe you. I'd like to, but I don't. Oh, Bill, please. It was a business call, darling. So you need another drink? What do I do? Why not? You don't usually, that's all. Oh, for God's sake, Joan! Sorry! I don't want to think Celia's your daughter. I'm sorry. She's part of you, and I like her, even if she doesn't like me, and she's young, and the police think she's been forcibly abducted, so presumably I'm allowed to care, Bill, am I? Yes, of course, of course. She could come to real harm. I'm aware of that, Joan. Well, then why did you lie to the police? Was it that obvious? Maybe not to them. I need time, Joan. I need time. I mean, perhaps Jack got it wrong. He must have got it wrong. My God, I know the world is paranoid, but this is psychopathic. Well, it is if... If what? Look, let me put it this way. If that message from Madrid is genuine, then I know who's got Celia. Who, Bill? Oh, come on, come on, don't be so simplistic. Why not? It's what the police want to know, Jesus. Joan, the police can't handle it. Well, you could let them try, surely. It will be too late, Joan. Besides, what have the police got to bargain with? What do you have? Woman, I've got what they want. Why else should Celia be kidnapped? You're not telling me you consider your daughter's life to be negotiable. No, I am telling you. That's what I've just been told. Yes, Hilda. Anything? Nothing. 
nothing unusual. No rumors buzzing around the consortium. Oh, come on, come on. What do you mean, nothing unusual, Zelda? You are supposed to be my eyes and ears in Silicon Valley. Hang on, I've got Jack coming through. Yes, Jack? I just received a repeat message. Same voice, same format. Stop production or your daughter dies. That's all. I asked who was calling. They rang off. So. They, uh... They're not really interested in getting a reply. They don't even acknowledge they're talking to us. Just leave us to assume they are. You're new. I haven't seen you before. When did you take over? Yeah. You don't speak English either. Great. Habla español. Si. Yeah, well, I don't. Okay. No habla español. Well, I'm poco. Que pueblo. Um. Oh no, I can't express myself. Just tourist words. And I'm not a tourist, am I? I mean, tourists tend to know where they are. Casablanca, or. Or oh, Agadir, or oh, where? <sighs> the last one wouldn't tell me where I was, so I don't suppose you will either. Let alone why? Well, I assume it's for money, for a ransom. Well, my father's well off. They call him the micro-billionaire. Not that that's true. He's just put all his cash into a new factory. He's quite a local hero. Created over 400 new jobs. Well, he will have when the factory opens. But I doubt if he's got much ready cash just at the moment. So perhaps you or, or rather your bosses have mistimed all this. How much are you asking for me? What am I worth? Bob, we are opening as planned on the 28th. Now please quote me to that effect in your bloody newspaper. So what? Your business section got a poison telex from Zurich, so? Celia. Bob, I repeat, my daughter's disappearance has no significance vis-a-vis -vis RD satellites. Her abduction remains confidential between us as old mates from the old days, all right? Right. And, uh, and Bob, just print my statement large and clear in your newspaper, will you? Yes. Well, we have slipped eight pence on the day already, thanks to your lousy column. Right. Yes. I love to Louisa. All right, come on, let's go. Hey, Tony, what do you say we co-opt Sir James ourselves? The consortium could use this kind of cachet too, huh? Dead on time. I'd better go. Right. I need to talk to you, Hugh. Please wait just two minutes. Okay. I'll be in my car.
Bill, good to see you. Ronnie. And Johnny. Hey, this is even better. Hi. Hello, Ronnie. Mm. You can't still be married to this jerk. <laughs> I am. I sometimes wonder why, too. <laughs> Glad you could make it, Ronnie. Uh, me, too. I always did say Bill was the luckiest guy. Uh, you both know Tony, of course. Hello, Tony. But Hello. Dennis, you haven't met. He's just joined us from Zurich. Hello. Jones hostessing lunch for us. Wonderful. Oh, you must have a lot to do, darling. We won't keep you. See you later. Look forward to it, Johnny. Oh, what a beautiful place. So this is the kind of orbit RD satellites move in nowadays, huh? Well, Sir James is on our board. We use this place as and when appropriate. The shooting's good, too. I'll bet. I have no one but you. Phil doesn't listen to me. He hardly ever sees me anymore, except when it suits him. When he needs a hostess. I'm like some, some sort of hooker. Oh, be fair. He is trying to save the company, Joan. It does matter to all of us. Yeah. Yeah, the company always comes first. Call me when you can, huh? Please. Okay. I've detailed a few ideas. Fine. Thank you. Just to fill you in, Dennis, uh, Bill here used to be head of research for us, oh, some way back. Then he moved to set up on his own account, and uh, now, in effect, we're market rivals in a pretty narrow field. But we do have this problem of Hugh Dexter. Ideas men like Hugh are beyond price. In fact, it's thanks to Hugh's latest brainchild that Bill here is hoping to open his new purpose-built complex on the 28th. Hoping? Well, didn't I see something in the financial press about uh, some snag? Just gossip, Ronnie. We open on the 28th, as planned. No smoke without fire, maybe. Hey, hey you didn't call this meeting to offer us Hugh's services back to us, did you? Then we would be talking. We really can't expect that, Ronnie. I don't see why not. We certainly expect something. I mean, some peace token. After all, you poached you, Dexter, from us, Bill. And come the 28th, if you go ahead as planned, you stand to make a killing. Well, we aren't exactly overjoyed at that prospect. Is that a threat? Not at all. Just a breakdown of the facts from our angle. Naturally, we'd much prefer you not to open. And we'd like Hugh Dexter back, of course. In an ideal world. You're asking the impossible. And you know it. We're not asking anything, Bill. Any gesture of goodwill has got to come from you. All right, come on. Spell it out. Oh, no. No, the consortium is in no position to insist on anything. I mean, according to your British law, you're in the clear. You've beaten us on this one. Frankly, I don't think you've called this meeting to, uh, to offer a peace gesture so much as to, oh, what's the British phrase, uh, give us a bit of stick. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know... What? I would like this to be between just the two of us, Ronnie. Fine. Gentlemen. Like hell I am, and you know it. Look, I'm sick of all this double talk. What you're really saying is... Don't go into production on the 28th, or you lose your daughter. Now, that's it, isn't it? Your daughter? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm afraid you've lost me. Oh, come on. 
Why else should Celia have been kidnapped? Kidnapped? Your daughter's been kidnapped? When? There's been nothing in the press, has there? Oh, I see. You've got this private personal concern as well as... No wonder you're feeling the strain. You're lying! And you know it! Now, you may be wearing several pairs of kid gloves and operating from God knows how many removes. But that's what you're really saying without saying it. Don't go into production. Pack it in. Or Celia dies. I take grave exception to all this, Bill. In fact, I find it highly insulting. You don't seriously imagine the consortium would stoop to such tactics. As a company, we value our integrity. We don't have to resort to blackmail. I must ask you to withdraw your accusations right now. I withdraw nothing. In that case... My apologies to Joan. Isn't here. No, it's it's you I want to see. Yes, of course. Come in, please. Are you quite sure that Bill hasn't heard anything? Why? What's happened? Well, I wish I knew. It's been over a week now. He's not telling you everything, you think? What is it, Dorothy? It's just that I'm so worried about Celia. I can't pretend that I understand Bill anymore. If I ever did. I do. Celia's very like him, though. That is, if you can still use the present tense about Celia, I mean. Sorry. I promised myself before I came here that I would not embarrass you. Please, you don't. You haven't. God. Excuse me. Yes? Mrs. Rutledge? Yes. Jerry! Oh, Mrs. Rutledge. It's all right. It's Celia's boyfriend, Jerry. Well, you better come in. Hello, Mrs. Rutledge. Jerry. I'm terribly sorry. I should have introduced myself. I tried to get in touch with Mr. Rutledge, but his secretary said he was tied up all day. I got this this morning. It's a check for £3,000. Yeah, well, that'll be Bill's check. He said he was going to honour his promise. Come what may. Well, no, actually. We got Mr. Rutledge's check last Friday. This is another one for the same amount. It's drawn on a Swiss bank account, but expressed in sterling. we better go through. We've got to do something. I can't stand this much longer. I wish we could go away. You know, just take off, forget everything. God, there's Bill. Goodbye, darling. Hi, John. Hello. Any message? Have you eaten? It's not food I need. Jerry brought this. Jerry? Oh, Bill. Celia's boyfriend. Yeah. He turned up here today. So did Dorothy, as a matter of fact. Oh, uh, I'm sorry about that. No, it's okay. I didn't mind, really. In the end, I don't think she did either. He thought it might be some sort of code that you would understand better than he did. In fact, it's from a Swiss bank. Now, this is really one, one expensive message. So it is a message? Oh, yes, yes. He's quite bright, that Jerry, isn't he? 
This is the consortium's way of making things quite clear to me, Joan. Now, this account is one that they use for special payments, special deposits. And they know perfectly well that I'd know that. And it is for the same amount as my donation. Oh, yes, yes. Ah, oh, bastards. He, um... He took it to the police. What did they make of it? Well, you'd better go explain it to them, hadn't you? No. I'm going to deal with the consortium myself. Bill, you already tried that! Why else did you invite them up here last week and you said yourself it was no use? That was just range-finding, Joan. They'll come back to me. Oh, you can't believe that. You honestly can't. Why should they come back to you? They've got all the cards. They've got you, Bill, as surely as they've got Celia. And their action is criminal and that check is proof. Proof? This isn't proof. A numbered account in Zurich. I mean, this isn't evidence. Where would the police get with this? No. We tell Jerry to pay it into the fund. At least it'll do some good. So you're going to let them get away with it? No, I'm not going to let them get away with it. I'm thinking of my next move. Now, for God's sake, woman, get off my bloody back! All right, Mary, go get it. Take that one. Sir Routledge? Yes? You, um, your local firm? Yeah. Good card. Oh, thank you. serious people, Daddy. So far, I've been treated quite well, but... but they say they can't wait much longer. So please, Daddy, don't let them... Oh, my God. Oh, Daddy, for my sake... So please, Daddy, don't let them... <coughs> Listen to that. It could be a fake. Oh. Pressure. It can't be a fake. No, you're just as bad as they are, Bill. Cold, calculating, you were the consortium, two of a kind. Not human. You think you're going to negotiate with those people? You're only interested in your shareholders, that's all, isn't it? Working late, Hugh? I'm waiting for an answer, Bill. If it's what I hope it is, we'll be ahead of the field by a decade. The consortium will be nowhere. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Um, I couldn't forgive him. I still haven't really, I suppose. He 
it seemed to me, just traded my mother in for a newer, more expensive model. I was at a very sensitive age. Thirteen. And I got divorced. <sighs> Since then, I've... I've lived with Mum and... and see Dad and... and his next wife, Joan. Who's quite nice, actually. Oh, I'm not making any sense. Ah, uh, anyway, for years now, I have hated my father out of a sense of, of duty, loyalty to Mum. as a consultant psychiatrist. <laughs> All you need is a, is a suit and notebook instead of jeans and, and a gun. I wonder who is paying you really to keep me here. We felt it was our turn to entertain you, and we found Sir James a most accommodating fellow. Any news of your daughter? A recorded message from her. She's okay? Why don't you tell me? She'd better be. Now look, I told you before... Yeah, yeah. Come on, let's go in, shall we? As I understand it, you've gone through my proposals and come up with some of your own. Dennis. We didn't go for your approach, Bill, because frankly, we've got the muscle that you lack. Our argument has a double thrust to it, as you can see in paragraph one. Yes. You buy me out at knockdown price. Well, that way you're still open on the 28th. You mean you open on the 28th? And our price is in line with the market, Bill. Like hell it is. Well, your shares have slipped quite badly these last three weeks. Yes. And who fixed that with false rumors from Zurich? I see in paragraph two that you get the services of Hugh Dexter thrown in as good measure. At terms to be mutually agreed, correct. And our offer stands until the 28th. Have you talked to Hugh about his coming back to you? Not directly. No. But then that's not your style, is it? We felt we owed it to you, Bill, to speak with you first. What happens when I say no? As we see it, the upshot's in your hands, entirely your decision. You can say no and open if you so wish. It's up to you. Oh, yes, of course. I mean, there's nothing to stop me, is there? Nothing in this proposal of yours. Nothing on paper. That's right. Not a thing. On paper. It's a free world. A free country. Industrial democracy. Right again. But, supposing my daughter's abduction the threat on her life via Madrid, that tape, the donation from Switzerland. Suppose I link all that to this proposal of yours. 
Then there's something to stop me, isn't there? I wish I knew what you were talking about. But if that's what you believe, why don't you go to the police? My oh, God. You're as confident as that, are you? We're that clean, Bill. Our offer stands till the 28th, expiring at midnight, okay? And if I don't agree, my daughter dies. I find your repeated imputations paranoid, offensive, and slanderous. I repeat, the consortium does not have a dirty tricks department. No. Simply hires one, as and when required. You have until the 28th. We will expect a positive decision on both counts. Did Mr. Dexter say what time he'd get back, Alice? Uh, no, sir. Right, well, as soon as he gets in, tell him to call me. I'll be at home, okay? Yes, sir. Where's Joan? She's not here. Where the hell is she? I've no idea. Well, what are you sitting here for? Wouldn't Mary let you through? Yes, sir, I refused. She said to go through. I should think so, too. Bill, they phoned me. When? Lunchtime. A man's voice saying, Tell your ex-husband to play ball. Anything else? No. When I said what, he just repeated it and rang off. More pressure. More? What do you mean? Have you heard something else and not told me? Bill, look, you promised me only last week. You've Dorothy, said that please, you... please. Have you told the police? Yes, of course. But what have you heard? Oh, bloody deal. They want Hugh Dexter back. They want all my ideas. close me down. Oh, God. What are we going to do? Bill, I know she's always taken my side against you, but we have to get her back. I want her back as well, you know. Then what are we going to do? Excuse me. Hello. It's you. You've been trying to get hold of me? Yes. Has the consortium got in touch with you yet? Oh, yes. Stay where you are. I'll be right over. Uh, that, that was Hugh Dexter. I'm sorry, I, I can't explain any more, Dorothy. I, I must go. But what about Celia? Bill, for God's sake, she's your daughter. Look, you've got to do as they say. What's money when our life's at stake? Bill! They don't waste any time, do they? Oh, it's generous, Hugh. More than generous. Oh, it's a generous offer, all right. But if you and I were really to take off, Bill, I stand to gain far more than the consortium could offer. If I accept this, and what you say is true, Celia would come back. If I don't accept, I've no option, Bill. No. Well, that's it then.
I've lost. Uh, there's something else. And what? The idea I was working on. It's good. I got the answer I was searching for. If you were to develop it, Bill, it would work. And with Celia back and all the pressure off, you'd be okay. You mean you're giving it to me? I don't, I don't know what to say. No need. You'd better witness my signature. Yes. Uh, you know about Joan, don't you? Joan? She's leaving you, Bill. What are you talking about? She's leaving you. Christ, that's all I need, isn't it? It's not you, is it? No. There's no one else. We haven't had an affair, Bill. She's frightened to tell you herself. I begged her to think it over, but... I don't think she'll be there when you get home. I am sorry. Why? My God, I, I, I gave that woman everything. Except your time. She wanted you, Bill. You were never there. Well, I'll have all the time in the world now, won't I? Jack, you there? Yes, yes Bill. Bill. Did Celia get back? Oh, yes. Yes, they sent her back all right. Found her wandering around the grounds early in the morning, a couple of days ago. She is all right. Hang on, I want to get in touch with Zelda. Zelda, you there? Hello there, Bill. What can I do for you? Right, listen, both of you. I want you here in England this weekend. Come up to my place, all right? Okay, Bill. Yeah, sure. What's it all about? Well, you'll find out when you get here, won't you? But I'll tell you something. I'm on my way again. You're home now. You're all right. You look like my father used to look. Don't you 
you touch me? Don't you come near me? Celia. I'm your father. Now you're all right. I'm your father. <laughs> Yes. <laughs>